Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing this really random video that's going around YouTube right now and I don't really know how to feel about it, but I thought I would do it because since when do I do videos that are trending? At first, when I when I saw it, I thought anti-haul meant like Rihanna album anti. I don't know why I thought that. Maybe I'm just in awe of Rihanna's outfit last night at the Met Gala. The dress was just beautiful. I don't I don't really know how to gather my myself. My wig fell off when I saw it. I had to get it put it back on. A couple people requested that I do this video and I didn't even know what they're talking about. I'm like, what is an anti-haul? Um it's basically telling you guys the things that I'm not going to be buying. Um which is easy. I could sit here and talk about all the stuff I'm not going to buy all day long because some of the stuff I see I'm like, "Oh, Makeup is getting so repetitive nowadays. I feel like everything is just not as cool as it used to be. Like some stuff is just not as exciting. And you don't see the hype. One of the most popular things that's trending right now that I've been seeing all over Instagram, all over Twitter, all over YouTube. Everybody's talking about it. Everybody's posting swatches like, oh yes, 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 yes. So KKW, Kim, and Kylie, they did this whole collab with Kylie Jenner's makeup brand, of course, blah -de blah -de blah Listen, I'm not buying anything Kylie Jenner. I have nothing against Kylie. We have nothing to beef about. I just don't see the point in buying every single thing Kylie Jenner because you're, it's not gonna make you look like Kylie Jenner. We all know what can make you look like Kylie Jenner and it is not her products. I think that they just look exactly the same as everything I've already seen from ColourPop. Um, we all know that everything Kylie Jenner is just instantly automatically popular i just really want somebody else to get some shine for once like why do they always have to be number one another thing that i see floating around on instagram all the time that i refuse to purchase is the unicorn tears now I, don't get me wrong do not get me wrong i think farsali is amazing i love farah dukai i love her videos i love the fact that her and her husband are just this dream team and he has his own brand of beauty products that is dedicated to her and they just have this whole empire. I think that's beautiful, it's gorgeous, I love it. But I'm not buying the unicorn tears. I mean, how many times can we put oil on our face? I already have the Rose Gold Elixir, number one, and I have a ton of other beauty oils that are expensive and I need to use all those up. That's the only reason why I'm not getting unicorn tears. If, there was, if I didn't have any other elixirs or beauty oils that were already too expensive, then I would buy it. It is aesthetically pleasing, okay? Clearly, we are here for the unicorn colors, but just the oil itself, I'm not getting it. Huda Beauty, I do own Huda Beauty products. This is not bashing Huda Beauty because I actually do like her products. I have the liquid lipsticks and I also have the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette, which I've mentioned before. Gigi, can you not? So I have nothing against Huda Beauty. I'm just not gonna get the highlighter. Everybody's been talking about the highlighter, 3D highlighter palette or whatever. Um, and a lot of people mentioned it in their anti-haul that they weren't gonna be getting it. And I just feel like it's just cause how many more highlighters can I buy? I don't need to buy any more highlighters. I have a ton of them already. I don't need any more. I have like five glow kits. I have all of the ColourPop highlighters. I mean, I have so many highlighters that I don't even know what to do with all of them. I have so many. The Pat McGrath Dark Star collection. The Dark Star collection, like to buy one kit, it's like a hundred something dollars. Plus, when am I gonna wear blue eyeshadow? I don't see myself wearing blue eyeshadow like that. I actually bought Pat McGrath's um, lip duos. I forgot what it is. I opened it up and it got everywhere, of course. All the little beads went everywhere. I just feel like I love Pat McGrath and I love what Pat McGrath is doing. Yes, you better work, honey, but like, it's it, to me, it wouldn't be worth it. The next couple brands that I'm gonna mention, I'm not buying them specifically for shade and tea reasons. I drink water, I stay hydrated, and I mind my business. Me personally, I just like to stay out of it, but in order to keep that distance, there's certain things that I feel like I just can't be a part of, and that would include anything Jeffree Star, anything Gerard Cosmetics, anything Juvia's Place. I have thought about buying some stuff from Juvia's Place even though there was that drama with Juvia's Place. It just, to me, the whole thing seemed very unprofessional, the way that they handled everything. I don't I don't know, that's just me personally. After what I've seen, I don't know. Maybe everything's cleared up and maybe everything is Gucci now. I'm just a little reluctant. Maybe one day I'll change my mind, I don't know. Gerard Cosmetics, there was a lot of drama with Gerard Cosmetics and Jaclyn Hill. We all know about Jeffree Star and all his stuff. I'm not even trying to get into all that. I, that's what I'm saying, I'm just, I'm steering clear. I'm not, I'm not 
Now, let me just tell you guys, first of all, first of all, you guys know I love Mac, okay? I love Mac, I get PR from them. So I love them. So this is not me saying I don't like Mac. Mac comes out with a new collection every week. It's it's a lot, it's overwhelming. I can't, I'm overwhelmed with all of the things that Mac comes out with. Now don't get me wrong, there are some collaborations that I would be very happy to support. Like Justine Sky collab, I'm all the way here for. I have on her highlight today. You probably can't tell, but it's purple. Totally would have bought the retro matte lippies. I really like the extra dimension. There's like all of these random collabs that I just don't really have the heart to buy, you know what I mean? Like Selena, all over it. Ming Lu, I don't know who that is. If I didn't get sent next to nothing foundation, I probably would have never bought it. But I use it because I have it. Taking myself outside of what I do for a living, if I actually had to go and buy all of these products, would not have bought like 90% of it. I'm very, very appreciative, but the fact that I give away 90% of the things that I have just lets you guys know. I feel so bad talking about some of these brands because I really like some of these brands and I like a lot of the things that I get. It's just some of it I don't need. High-end makeup brushes. So any makeup brushes like by Marc Jacobs, Anastasia, Makeup Forever, MAC, all of those high-end brushes, I don't even touch them. I do own some high-end brushes and I think the fact that I own them and I've bought them or I've received them before and I know how they compare to lower end brushes like Morphe brushes and VH Cosmetics and Real Techniques. To me, it's not worth it to buy an $80 brush. It's not, it's just not, it's just not. Because there are so many good inexpensive alternatives. Literally every brush that you've ever seen, there is a dupe for it on Morphe. Uh, another thing that I don't really see myself ever purchasing is Tarte Rainforest of the Unicorns of the Rainforest Cafe. I don't, I don't necessarily like I don't plan on buying anything from both of them. And I love Tarte. Uh, I love Tarte's concealer, their Shade Tape concealer. And I've tried some of their other products. Just this whole Rainforest of the Sea and the unicorn thing, I'm just really not feeling it. Like I see it online, I see all the colors, I'm just like, mm. it would sit and look at me if I got it. I, it would sit and look at me, like a lot of my other makeup does. On that note, a lot of the benefit stuff, I would never purchase. and. To be quite honest with you guys, I love Benefit. I get PR packages from Benefit. This is nothing against Benefit. I love their brow products. Uh, their bronzer and their cheek products are pretty cool. Ugh, my gripe with Benefit, your face products, just really aren't that popping. Like, can we have a little more variety? There's like 50 shades of beige and two dark colors. And I just, I wanna know if there is, it, by any chance, any black people that need a good like concealer or foundation do they ever ask for one in their color i'm just i'm just wondering because i you know and in the past i've i've gotten packages and stuff from benefit and i love benefit um but every time there's never my shade my shade is not in there um when it comes to face makeup as far as foundation concealers things like that go just my shade is never in there also i would never buy any of their lipsticks i don't necessarily like the concept of a lipstick and a lip liner in one it never really worked for me so i would not buy those and if you've seen them out there i just wouldn't i wouldn't do it now their mascaras like i said their mascaras their brow products their hula bronzer um some of their blushes are really bomb but everything else It just ain't for me. It just ain't for me. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and I hope this wasn't too like negative. Talking about things that I don't like makes me sad. It makes me like feel weird. Like usually I do favorites, but to do an anti-haul is like, it's disrespecting the love that I have for beauty products. Like it makes me feel icky inside. Like I feel like I need to go pray. I just don't like talking about stuff that I don't like. That don't make me happy. I'm sorry. That's all. That's it. Bye bye.